Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we're going to be painting a poison dart frog pattern on a Tyranid Gaunt. Now, this pattern does not have to be painted onto a, specifically a Tyranid Gaunt. It could be applied to any of the War Machine monsters. Even a Space Marine's armor can use this kind of funny kind of pattern. It takes a little bit of research. Look around for poison dart frogs or poisonous frogs. And we're going to be using a blue pattern for this guy. So we're going to use Cantor blue with a little bit of a Lothorn blue. And a little bit of medium. And we're going to be wet blending these two colors together. Now it doesn't have to be specifically these two colors. You could use any two colors really that you want. Dark blue and a light blue. Or even that light blue and white if you wanted. Whichever way. But... I was going by the reference material I had seen online, and so I was influenced by that color patterning. And as you can see, the model's been spray primed in a bone color. This is Army Painter's bone, I believe. And we're just going to directly start blending colors together right on top of it. And as you see, we just lay down some Cantor blue, and then begin layering or blending the Lothurn blue right at the outermost edge. And this is approximate how the patterning looks on the poison frog that uh, I was using as a reference picture I'd seen online. It's this blue with black spots. And so I was trying to get to this nice light blue on the outer edges. The rest of the body could also be painted in this fashion to that light blue could even follow this pattern across the arm segments and the thigh and all those little other little long segments of the model. You know, it doesn't have to be specific to the carapace. We're just doing that as an example. And you can see we just work our way around the model. Concentrating most of the Cantor blue within the center. And just blending out to a nice light blue at the outermost edge. You can edge highlight that if you like. Just bring it all the way up again. Really, just so we get a nice, pretty standard. <laughs> Here we're going to quickly do the armor plates on the head. And again, we'll keep concentrating most of the Cantor blue in through the center. We're just quickly laying out the Lothurn blue. And then really fast, we're just going to blend these colors together. If you're not very comfortable with your wet blending, well, you can layer this as well. You can dry brush it. Whatever technique you're most comfortable with, feel free to use. We're just going with the wet blending as we want to have a nice fast transition in there. Next, we go into some Abaddon Black. Slap that onto our palette. We're going to use a little bit of medium, help thin this down. Not all the way thin, just to help with flow. And we're going to use our detail brush now. And with this, we are going to begin kind of drawing little semicircles, concentrating on the center having more of the little circular pattern and they're much larger and we'll progressively get smaller as we work our way to the light blue or the outer edge of the carapace plate as you can see here we're just kind of working our way in now we don't want to go all the way to the edge as we do want to have some of that transition peek through the uh, smaller dots that are on the armor plate and often when you're working with small little areas such as this Often the rule of less is more uh, really becomes apparent. And as you can see there, we just got our little spots down. And so we just continue that little idea along the rest of the armor plates. And as you can see, we just concentrate bigger circular uh, black patterning on through the center. And then we get smaller as we get closer to the outer blue. And... That's roughly it for those kind of plates. And then when we work on the the headpiece, again, it's the same thing. You know, it's the, it's less is more. The larger circles are concentrated on the inside. And you really, like on these a lot of these armor plates, we're only doing maybe about five, six, maybe little spots on there. Could even go with a tighter brush. What have you. Have fun with it, really. <laughs> but really, it's the pa the patterning was really just an inspiration, and you can adjust it to whatever uh, suits your taste. But that's it; it's easy as that. Give it a try. 
and thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful and informative. For the next quick tip video, leave a comment below or question as to what you'd like to see answered in the quick tip series. I do post these videos on a daily basis into Mini Wargaming's vault, as well as other painting tutorials, terrain tutorials. Click the link below to start your seven day trial of Mini Wargaming's vault, where you'll gain access to all sorts of videos, as well as quick tips, terrain and battle reports, and other random assorted funness. And so thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.